None of these bills were ever conferred with us to begin with. That's your prerogative as senators. You can introduce whatever you want. Uh, but at the same time, I think we want to move forward cooperatively, productively. Uh, there's no reason why we can't dialogue and come to a consensus and perhaps put together better pieces of legislation. One of the bills that drew Brown's ire was freshman Senator Tony Adda's Bill Number 28, which would redefine in law what is meant by a utility encroachment. Deputy DPW Director Carl Dominguez testified against that one. DPW strongly opposes this change. If utilities are no longer encroachments, anyone would essentially be free to come in and work unsupervised on government property and public lands without regulation of any kind. ADA's companion bill, 114, also came in for criticism. The measure would allow federal funds to be used, when available, to pay for the cost of relocating utilities which lie in the way of road construction projects. I would like to think that that was a simple reality, was that there's a big pot of federal money sitting around and, and we'd be foolish not to want to take that money and use it towards the benefit of the public. In some cases, uh, the overall cost to address this may exceed the funding that we receive. If that's the case, that will severely reduce road construction on Guam. All I'm saying is, if there's federal funds available, let's make use of it. I'm not saying there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but what I'm saying is that even if it's just a little bit, because every penny counts, and that's all I'm asking. But Brown reserved her strongest criticism for the third bill from another freshman senator, Mana Silva Tyron's Bill Number 23, which originally set timelines for the completion of the Agate Umatic Road Project and two bridge projects in Maleso. Unfortunately, this morning, the department is in opposition to Bill 23. Actually, I, just to bring you up to speed, because mm -hmm. you weren't here earlier, um, I have recommended to the committee that uh, we do remove the time frame, mm -hmm. the timeline there, just to allow you a little more flexibility. The other thing is, is I've asked that uh, the committee remove the agate pneumatic road from the, from the bill. Actually, Senator, our preference, because it isn't as if we need legislative oversight to do our job. I need resources that can help me do my job. I don't need more mandates from the legislature dictating how to mandate and how we use federal funds that already have very strict compliance requirements. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.